everybody, and welcome to the OP Pro Surfing Championship. It's the golden age of surfing. When you heard about professional surfing contests, it was always the men that everybody talked about. This is where the men are surfing, and this shitty hell hole is where they had the women. In the early 1980s, girls that got into pro surfing, they had the same dreams. You just wanted to become the best at what you did. But they didn't have the permission of the surf culture. I don't think they'll ever be as good as the men, and that's the same in any sport. I think they just need to look attractive, dress well. Oh, no, they were all such dumbass chauvinistic pigs. The very first contest we surfed in in Hawaii, the women's check was exactly 50% to the men's. Yeah, it was pretty bad. The 80s were really hard. If you were gay, you were diseased. I hit it my whole career. Got some flack that you girls need to lose weight or else the whole sport would fail. We got a letter saying we're going to eliminate the women's event this year and the bikini contest is staying. That's where we had to take a stand. It was like all of us girls, everybody that was in our generation was all of a sudden connecting. That was a pinnacle point where we all started to realise we can do something now. It sounds like a Wall Street story, really. Suddenly there are all these like 12-year-old girls ready to be out in that water. And it was like, here we go. We were saying to Surfy, promote us. We're not going to stand for less. They're a force of nature. Without their participation, fighting those fights, there may not be a women's tour. You know, if you can't see it, you can't be it. 